Good morning. Today we're here at the Kroger Marketplace. We're going to go and check out some of the sales prices for the week. Some of the things you guys have asked about and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, since we come into Kroger here, I see they've got their red seedless grapes on sale. It doesn't seem like much of a sale, $1.79 a pound. I feel like this has been the regular price for a while. But I don't know. They may have gone up. We'll have to check. They have their 18-ounce pack of blueberries, Driscoll blueberries, for $2.77. Not a bad deal here. Blackberries, uh, $2.50 a package for six-ounce package, and raspberries, $2.50. They do have their Kroger Naval Oranges on sale for $4.47. These are four-pound bags, making this an okay deal. They do have their Idaho russet potatoes here, $2.77 for a five pound bag. Regular price on these is gonna be $3.99, which is actually down from $4.29 regular price. So good to see the regular price dropping $2.77. Um, it says low price on here, but it is technically a sale. So I'm a little confused here because they have the same four pound bags that they had over there for $2.47 for the four pound bag. Same thing, these are the Kroger, not the Sun Pacific California Naval. I don't know, I don't know, we'll have to check some of the aisles here, but. Okay, so I wanted to grab an ad here just to make sure the four pounds Kroger Naval oranges are $2.47, that is a great deal. So today is November 25th, Black Friday, 2022. Hope everybody's getting some good deals and sales trying to find the best sales at Kroger today for you guys uh, not gonna find it in tomatoes $1.79 a pound for Roma tomatoes that may be the most expensive I've ever seen them uh, $2.29 a pound for the hothouse tomatoes these are up from $1.89 a pound uh, avocados for the medium ones 89 cents each and the real I, I don't know this is getting out of hand here red tomatoes here $2.49 a pound. They don't look good, which tomatoes just haven't really looked that great at all this year. They do have the red tomatoes on the vine, $1.89 a pound. Um, same price it was last time, but that was up from $1.59 a pound. So tomatoes, not only do they not look great this year, but they are really overcharging for them. One thing I do like about Kroger Marketplace is it's one of the only shops around here that actually has green tomatoes. Um, they are $1.99 a pound. Somebody asked about these, so I wanted to point them out. So if you have a Kroger Marketplace near you, you may want to check out there. I know a lot of places don't carry them. I, I've seen them at Jungle Gyms, which is way north of us, uh, which is a uh, big international farmer's market. Um, but other than that, it's the only place I've seen them. Strawberries have gone up again. They were $3.99, which was outrageous per pound, and now they are $4.29 per pound. I know they're out of season, but... $4.29 a pound, that's just, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if they don't sell any. I mean, it looks like they're selling some, but geez, that's expensive. It does look like they're selling a lot of their organic berries here. Um, you know, they are pretty high prices. Uh, organic, you know, when, when the regular goes up, you better believe that the uh, organic's gonna go up too. They do have these blueberries on sale, which is the simple truth. Uh, organic blueberries, six ounce. I don't see a price on the bigger one here. The six ounce is two fifty. So I don't know. There's no price on the big ones here. Uh, Four forty nine for the raspberries. What is this? Organic blueberries six ninety nine. So that must be this one over here. Doesn't show the weight on there. Wow, that is expensive. Boy, I'll tell you what. At what point does too much become too much? Apples continue to rise here at Kroger. I mean, they were $1.69 a pound yesterday. Today, they're $1.89 a pound for the for the Gala Fuji Red Delicious. Uh, they do have the Granny Smith on sale, $1.49 a pound. But I mean, it's just some of these. Oh, these are three for $2. Okay, well, I don't know, but regular price on these it's going to be $1.89 a pound now. It's way too much. I don't know if Kroger's has started doing the five-pound bags. We saw Meyer starting to do this um, to try and cut the price down some on them. Uh, it does make it $5.49 on sale. That's funny. This was the regular price yesterday, $5.49 for the five pounds. $5.99 is the regular price now. 
So these have gone up even 50 cents, but they're on sale for the five pounds this week. I don't know, if you eat a lot of apples, you may want to buy something like this because it's looking like these are going to keep going up in price for a while. And they're in season. Digital coupon alert on the Campari tomatoes here, 16 ounce, $1.99. These were $2.49 a couple weeks ago. Now regular price is going to be $3.49. $3.49. So $1.99 now. I don't know. I know a few people on the channel here that like the Campari tomatoes. I would buy up a couple. Broccoli crowns here. Well, first of all, let's go over the broccoli. $3.29 a pound now. $3.29. Just a few weeks ago, this was $2.89 a pound, which was still too high. Um, and they have the broccoli crowns for $1.99 a pound. These are going to be $2.49 a pound regular price. So, I don't know, guys. Everything's going up again. They do have the Kroger 80% lean, 20% fat. Uh, sold in the three package, three pound packs here with the tube. Uh, $8.97 for this, making them $2.99 a pound, but you do have to buy it in the three pound tube here. It's not a bad deal. It's pretty good, actually. Looks like they do still have their whole bone in pork shoulder here, $1.49 a pound, down from $2.69 a pound. They have the Kroger Italian sausage. This is the one I like right here, the mild Italian. They are on sale from $3.99. It says regular price $4.99, but we know that's not true because it's $5.99 regular price. So I don't know. We've seen a couple uh, stickers today here that have been off. I don't know if that is the regular price now and they just didn't change the sticker. So Thanksgiving is over and all of a sudden Kroger's has ground turkey again. They were pretty much completely out the last time we were here. We, we got a lot of comments on ground turkey. So if you're still interested, um, it's all regular prices, no more sales. Uh, they do sell the honeysuckle here. It is $5.99 uh, for the one pound here. Um, they do have the Kroger brand, which is a little cheaper, but not much. $4.99 a pound for these. Um, they do have the Simple Truth Organic, $5.99 a pound for that one. So the hams are pretty much the same prices as they were last week. We went over a little bit about a week ago i'm hoping that these come down a little bit before christmas these prices are just way too high uh the cheapest they have is the cook's ham here at a dollar 79 a pound um but yeah i think you know maybe here in a couple weeks these should start to come down hopefully we got a comment on oscar meyer baloney we've actually had a couple comments in the last few weeks on this so i wanted to check it out here because it is on sale not much of a sale only 10 cents uh, but uh, you guys were saying that you haven't seen it hasn't been coming in your stores uh, Just wanted to check make sure it was coming in ours I do have it here at Kroger marketplace 289 on sale um, But yeah, I thought that was interesting because I know you guys were saying that it was gone. Just wanted to check this out for you So since we checked it out last week, we've gotten a couple more comments on how expensive some breakfast meats are getting and you know they really are like 429 for uh, Kroger sausage links is ridiculous. I, these were $2.99 last year. $2.99. $3.29 on sale this week. They do have their sausage patties, the Kroger brand, on sale. Now, this is a two pack right here for $4.99 down to $5.99, but these are only $2.50 for the single packs of eight, right? So this will be 16 of them, and this is eight of them, but it's $2.50 a pack either way you go. So you could get two different kinds you get the maple they don't even have the maple the two packs so you could literally get two of the maple for five dollars this week i gotta say i'm not finding many sales at all this week at kroger now, i'm not too surprised um because you know i mean they had some decent sales for thanksgiving and again this is the day after thanksgiving this is friday black friday a uh, big shopping day i'm surprised that kroger's not very packed i'm kind of liking it um, but yeah, I thought maybe they'd have their cheese still on sale, but they don't. Kroger butter is no longer on sale, bringing it back up to a whopping $4.99. $4.99 a pack. They've got the two packs on sale for $7.99 still, but that's still $4 a pack. Still better than paying $8.49, a little bit of a sale, but they do have the challenge butter on sale for $3.50 this week. And that includes all the different varieties here. Uh, the salted looks like they're out of unsalted, um, but 350 a piece. 
digital coupon on the Kroger Keurig pods here for $3.99. It's not a bad deal. Digital coupon, you can use up to five times on this. The other day we were at Dollar Tree and we saw the coffee filters that they haven't had in a long time. Notice somebody had said that they were, uh, they used to be $200 for a dollar and now it's $150 for a dollar twenty-five. So that has shrunk. This at Kroger is 200 filters for a dollar fifty, but it has low price on it, so that could mean they're going up soon. But this is definitely the better deal. So um, just wanted to point that out. We had a lot of comments on that. Looks like Folgers Coffee is back to eleven dollars and forty-nine cents. No, okay. So the classic roast. I'd say the one we get most comments on has a regular price of $10.99 now, so not as bad on that. And they have the value size, value size uh, coffee made here down to $5.99, uh, regular price $6.99, so a little bit of savings on that. You guys who have been watching the channel for a long time know that when I point out stuff on low price, we know what the possibility is. So Kroger coffee in the can $8.99 and we saw there was never a low price sticker so for them to put these stickers out here tells me that it's going up again and it continues to go up and it's you know I really don't know like it's going to go up to the point to where nobody's going to want to buy it they'll 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 take it up right to where it's close to Folgers and then I don't know I believe people would just buy Folgers um, Maxwell House dropping their price down to $9.99 I think it's awesome um, and we we've got a lot of Maxwell House drinkers on the channel so you know $9.99 that's better than $10.59 sales start to look kind of silly when you're seeing things for the regular price of the sale of what it was a week ago so it's like some of this stuff it's like I don't even like private selection coffee it's okay is it worth $7.99 probably not um, unless you like private selection uh, I know we have a lot of Pete's coffee drinkers on the channel here. They do have a digital coupon. This is a great deal, $7.99 uh, for the shrink-flated 10.5-ounce bags. But it's been that for a while. Uh, $7.99 is way better than $12.49. One good deal since their massive price hike is the Green Mountain products and the original donut shop coffee down to $5.99 on sale. No extra coupons or anything required, just on sale, $5.99 down from $8.99 which is ridiculous um, they do have uh, Dunkin Donuts coffee here $7.99 on sale again no extra coupon required we have a couple people on the channel that like the 8 o'clock coffee they do have the pods on sale this week digital coupon $4.99 down from $6.79 digital coupon for a dollar more than what the digital coupon was last time $7.99 for the Starbucks pods on sale um, down from $9.49. So, see the regular price of Starbucks fluctuates so much. Like, we saw the regular price for $9.79, they went up to $9.99, now $9.49, and we saw it go back up to $9.99. Now, this week we're seeing $9.49 .99 again, regular price. But anyway, on sale, $7.99. I, guys, I'm gonna tell you, I had a feeling, so I was ready. I was ready for today. I knew that there would be some trickery in the stickers. Um, I was just, I was absolutely ready for it. And sure enough, you know, we noticed this last year. We saw this last year where there were sales right up till Thanksgiving and then the day after. Everybody's making everything look like a sale, but really you're paying the sale price of what it was the week before. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I mean, it's good that it's still on sale, right? It's better than paying $9.99 wanted to check and see what the frozen vegetables look like the day after Thanksgiving and yeah it's the most frozen vegetables we've seen uh, probably in a month and that's you know to be expected uh, they do have a locked in low price on the vegetables right so my thing is is that these are 12 ounces for $1.25 most store brands are less than a dollar still we see at Target they're good in gather brand which me and Jess really like are 79 cents a bag um, so if they're gonna raise these prices again I mean I hate to say it I you know you guys know that we love Kroger frozen vegetables but if they raise them again I mean I don't want to pay a dollar 25 for these so if it goes up any higher 
I don't know. I'm afraid more and more people are going to be finding other options uh, to buy their frozen vegetables because even that's too much. So I saw this end cap here. They have a bunch of the Morningstar products here. Uh, breakfast, different breakfast options here. And we get a lot of comments on Morningstar. $2.99 with the digital coupon this week. You can use up to five times. It's not bad. A little bit of savings. Another thing that we've been getting a lot of comments on lately is canned fruits and how they've been out. Uh, a lot of you have been saying that you haven't been able to find a lot of canned fruits. Some of the name brands, uh, store brands, you, uh, somebody had said that they were able to find some at Walmart. Um, and yeah, those brands are going to be a little cheaper. We've gotten great comments on great value canned uh, fruits. Um, Kroger, yeah, I mean, we don't get many comments on them, but they do have them and they are a little cheaper. Some of them, looks like the mandarins here are on sale, $1.25 a can down from $1.99. We are seeing these start to go up in price, though. These were $1.39 not that long ago. Now they're $1.59, so another price increase here. They do have the Dole Pineapple on sale, uh, different varieties here. Looks like all of them. Two for $4. You don't have to buy two on this deal. Just get one. Use your Kroger Plus card. But they do have a sale on Del Monte, three for $5, making them $1.67 a can not much to choose from i mean they're pretty low uh they got the pear halves uh the sliced peaches is one that somebody asked about um so they do have those three for five dollars yeah a little bit of sale regular price on these two dollars and 49 cents a can been a lot of talk on the nor pasta sides uh someone was saying that they haven't been able to find the nor rice sides uh, i'm gonna try and find them here i don't know we may be out of them too um, they do have the pasta ones here. They are on sale for $5, making them $1.25 a piece. Uh, most of these have been going for $1.39 everywhere, which I don't know. It's like they were a dollar everywhere last year. Some you can find even cheaper. Um, let's see, pasta roni, three for four dollars. These just be a dollar a box. Sometimes they'll have them on sale for a dollar a box, but that's far and few between anymore. Kroger Marketplace has condensed their spaghetti big time. Like, I just, I thought this looked weird because this used to extend not here, but over here because Cremet and DeCecco were down here. Now it is just this. I'm not surprised because spaghetti, look at this. I mean, it's near wiped out and it's already condensed as much as they're probably going to ever do it. Even some of the noodles, like the wide noodles, egg noodles... Ugh. I mean, you know, it's like we're inconvenience sticker, inconvenience sticker. You know, I mean, it's <laughs> it's something we definitely have to pay attention to. We got a couple comments on pasta again. Pasta's always hit or miss, no matter where we go. Um, plenty of Barilla, but I mean, you know, it is two dollars a box now, dollar ninety nine a box. Uh, they do got these ready pasta things on sale. Some people were asking about these. It's been a while, but I noticed there's a sale, two dollars and nineteen cents, down from two forty nine good deal there cremet is back up to a dollar fifty a box but really a dollar fifty a box to a dollar thirty four a box right so you're only spending 16 more cents to get cremet and honestly i mean I'll, I'll, I'll be honest i like kroger spaghetti it's okay but for 16 cents more i like cremet better you know, I mean, and we bought up a few of these when they had the digital coupon of 79 cents. I hope some of you guys were able to get that deal. That was an awesome deal they had a couple weeks ago. Did notice that DeCecco did go up from 279 to 299. You can tell too, these are brand new stickers. Okay, so we found the Nora Rice sides. I was starting to think they didn't have them. I was like, well, I probably need to go check by the rice, right? <laughs> uh, rice aroni too, same as the pasta aroni, three for four dollars. Um, and the rice, nor rice sides are on sale, $1.25 a bag this week. You do not have to buy four on this, just one. I hate when they do this. I wish they would just put the regular price. It confuses people. It, it, you know, it's like makes you think you have to buy four. It doesn't want to chose the price below with card. So you know you can just buy one as long as you use your Kroger Plus card, $1.25. Saw so this end cap of the French's fried onions. And I hope people bought it up when it was on a little bit of a sale because now on sale $4.79. We were seeing these for $3.99 everywhere. Regular price is going to be $5.29. $5.29. So we'll probably have to wait maybe a week or two before Christmas before we see another price break in this, hopefully. 
Okay, so I see the honeysuckle turkey breast down there still for $2.49 a pound. They have the butterball still for $1.49 a pound on sale. That's never changed here at Kroger. We thought that was going to get cheaper, and it never did. $1.49 a pound. Um, the Kroger turkeys are $0.69 cents a pound still on sale here at Kroger. And that, let, it says it expires January 3rd, 2023. So that's probably until they sell out of the turkeys that they have. I can't imagine that. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I mean, that's $0.69 cents a pound. That's a great deal. Maybe it will last through... Uh, Christmas all the way, but normally there's a break in this to like a couple weeks before Christmas. Now here's something interesting. They have the Heritage Farm Chicken Party Wings here. And we got some good comments on these. I've never had them. They have the digital coupon here, $7.99. Now the regular price on these is $13.99. So, which, yes, I, it's completely insane that this would be $13.99 at all. But $7.99 with the digital coupon. If you don't use the digital coupon, it's $9.99 on sale this week. So even if you don't want to use the digital coupon, you're still getting a deal. So guys, I hate to say it, the sale is over with the Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. It is no longer $0.64. Cents. It has gone back up to $0.65. Cents. Pillsbury Grands are on sale. Sale sale uh three twenty or two three dollars so three dollars a can still too much but down from 329 so you save 30 cents i know when you first look at this you might think well dan it doesn't explain what the price of the 18 count kroger eggs are this is my thinking behind this kroger knows that these are just way over expensive right now so they're pushing simple truth cage-free large eggs here for $3.79, which in my opinion is still too much, but they know, people know that these have just gotten outrageous. So they're trying to push these now, knowing that they're not selling a lot of these. I mean, last, we were here a few days ago and they didn't have any 12 count eggs. All they had was the 18 count and it was completely full. Nobody was buying them. Hey guys, well, I am back from Kroger. A couple things I wanted to go over. One, the white, red, and black seedless grapes are 89 cents a pound on the digital coupon. A lot of these digital coupon uh, codes we did not see in the store. And I think that, you know, I'm not, yesterday was Thanksgiving, you know, and a lot of people were off, probably didn't, wasn't able to get to a lot of the stickers, which I'm sure they were probably shorthanded today also. So don't want to lay uh, any blame on, on the employees at all. They're always working really hard. You know, at least in the Kroger's around here, every Kroger's I go to, uh, top-notch employees that work there, the ones that are always there, you know, and we thank you all for your hard work and, you know, everything you do through these tough times, you know. Uh, Kroger's really, you know, I, I have a lot of friends that work at different Kroger's and they work very hard to make sure that everything is set up as good as possible. So I don't want to lay any blame on them. However, there are some things we are seeing with some of the trickery in the prices, with digital coupons. We're seeing prices of digital coupons go up. We saw things that were digital coupons last week of $6.99 up to $7.99, like some of the coffees and stuff. Um, you know, it's just something, this is why we do these things every day, so that we can keep up on the prices, so we know when we see a good price, we know whether or not we want to buy up on it or not. You know, this is, you know, and if you have any, thing that you are having trouble finding or things that you're trying to find a better deal on make sure you let us know down in the comments and we try to get to everybody you know as soon as we can but uh, a couple sales i missed the chunky campbell soups are still two for three dollars that's a good price regular price 249 a can so the chunky campbell's that's a dollar off a can two for three dollars again with that one you don't even have to buy two of them uh, that's just a dollar fifty, dollar fifty a can, uh, no extra coupon required. You just have to uh, use your Kroger Plus card. So that's good for that. And the soda pop is uh, Pepsi, Coca Cola, or Seven Up mix and match four for twelve dollars. So that makes them three dollars a piece for the six pack of plastic bottles. Uh, that's pretty good. And there was one I saw on here. Now, we haven't gotten any comments on it for a while, but I know a few of you 
that like the Freshetta pizzas. They have those on sale this week on the digital coupon for $3.99, and I know those have been getting very expensive. So if you like the Freshetta pizzas, you know, we like them. We don't, I, you know, every now and then we'll get a frozen pizza, but Freshetta's okay. Uh, $3.99 for that is a pretty good deal. Um, and pretty much everything else, we covered everything you guys talked about. Uh, one thing I do want to say, Jessica... My wife is getting better. She's on the mend. She is still a little weak from the kidney stone event. I wanted to thank you all for all your wonderful support, your prayers, your comments. Everybody teamed up on the Dano family, YouTube family here. And, you know, Jessica was in tears from all the, the comments that you guys have left. And, and we thank you so much for that. She is on the mend. Um, and, you know, she has a couple follow-up things, but it's looking like she's okay. Also, my mom, her uh, blood pressure thing is back to normal. It is, uh, the doctor said it was going to take a couple weeks for it to start coming down on the medicine. Sure enough, it has. Uh, we had a wonderful Thanksgiving. It was a very quiet Thanksgiving and uh, got a lot of sleep, uh, much needed sleep, and, and just wanted to thank you guys so much for all of your heartfelt comments and everything. It really means the world to us. Um, and guys, you know, I don't know, didn't see a lot of great deals at Kroger. Um, not surprised, not surprised, but we do have uh, some deals coming up with Black Friday events this weekend because it looks like places like Walmart, Target, and some other stores that you probably know, online things with Monday, Cyber Monday, let's take advantage of these sales. You know, if you're doing Christmas shopping or something like that, uh, I recommend, you know, even if you don't want to leave your house, get on your computer, get on Amazon. And uh, from what I've heard, there's a lot of great deals going on. But guys, thank you so much for watching today. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember the adventure is out there.